Hi guys, welcome to our first match video. It is Gallantmon versus Sukuyumon. BT9 Gallantmon and Sukuyumon are my own mix. We're first starting up with Reiji VT. He's going to be digivolving up in the back. He looks like he's got wonderful cards to set up his stack. And he goes all the way, I believe, to the Gramon. I just set a recap. I put it down with the Renamon. He goes to Gramon X and War Gramon is coming up. And I know that I am pretty much dead. So I just push up, try our best. And uh, we do the option card going to Kyubimon for free. Uh, then we get an option card from our trash. We go straight into an Takato, which is terrible. And I know that this time we're not gonna go because I'm still searching for my pieces. He swings, he swings into it. He knows the Kuyumon's coming in and he can also delete something with the play cost of, I believe, three or four or lower. He goes straight into Wargram on X. Uh, searches for his pieces. I set back up my uh, Rika. I am seeing none of my pieces and you can probably see that that's pretty much game. He's very confident in it. He's already me, got me down um, pretty hard to build it up for Sukuyumon. And so far, I, I think I'm just entertaining chat to be honest. So we'd be swinging. He was going to try and do with War Gramon X, but I think he decided against it. Instead, he went straight into Galatmon, got the deletion memory got two checks, still all G because it is going by, I think, at least 13. So Sukuyamon goes for it. Push up. I can't do much, so I know that even if I swing, at least let me chip away. But I put another Patamon, and basically that does save for game. So uh, I'm pretty sure he deletes it, unsuspends it as well. He goes straight for the Gilmon. We get into an option card, and straight up again with Galatmon, he does a few checks. And then. He raises in the back. I know there's no way I can recover from this. He has a cool boy, he has a Takato, he has everything in between. And I pretty much decide that I think I, I should just scoop it up. But I, I, I instead, I'm keeping on going with the Patamon swinging. And I, then I scoop it up. So we're on round two. I'm not feeling as confident, but I feel like my friend in chat was saying, hey, don't even focus on chat, just you do you. And I am determined to try and beat Galantmon. So we're waiting on the shuffle. I'm thinking about my game plan. I think about all the stuff that I did wrong in terms of my rookies and just swinging and then not searching enough for pieces, but I won't let that stop me. All right. Now I forget. I went first. I have a lot of pennies. So I went straight into the Kyubimon. Uh, he goes Gilmon, Gilmon X, and he passes a turn with a hero, but I get to play Rika for free because of the Talmon's effect. It's wonderful. He plays another Takato, and it seems like he's breaking on these pieces instead of me. So I decided to hatch. I know that I have some time, so, and go straight into Sukuyamon. I swing, return an option, go into Sukuyamon Miko mode. I get to be do swinging. It's pretty good. I hit into a red memory boost, which is unfortunate, but that's all right. And he actually pops another red memory boost in order to try and find his pieces, but nothing seems to be going his way goes into a gram on x tries to find some more pieces it's not looking too good for him so i push up with my cubimon and raising checked out some more option cards for renamon swing i only have one tamer on the field but i do do two, two checks because of the option card go into squeamon v stand and it was a good time it was pretty all right not too many bad of the plays he goes into War Gramon, so he can delete something of, I think, a play cost of 3,000 to 6,000 or under. Instead, he, sings, he swings to security, so I think he did forget. But then he goes into War Gramon X, and he goes straight into Galantmon. I think he's starting to panic because he's forgetting his effects, and that's totally fine. We go into the Talmon, play another, play another into Sukuyumon Miko mode. <laughs> A lot is happening in terms of like the two tamers as well in the field. We get to do the DP reduction, which deletes his field, which is wonderful. So we get to swing with a uh, Sukuyumon Miko mode. I'm not sure if I have a Sukuyumon in my hand in order to digivolve into it, but instead I play out of Renamon because his board is sweet. There's nothing much he can do to recover if he has no security. He plays instead another cool boy. He's still trying to search for his pieces. He plays a Gramon and we go to game two because uh, we believe that we want it because I could have just one swing. This is the last round for our section and I believe he's going to be going first because naturally with an OTK deck, if you go first, it's pretty much game with a lot of fun pieces. And he knows that I have a very slow build up. Let's see him go. As you can see, my very impatient shuffling, but he does go first. He hatches Gigimon. He goes into the Gumon, goes into the Gramon, and I go into the Renamon. I need to search up some of my pieces, so it's still working. I'm surprised he swang very quickly, but it turns out I've got an option, so it's great. A plug-in. Go in, I push up, go to Kyubimon. 
We get some option cards going on as well. He puts out the Kato. I go into Talmon. I can play out Arika. And so far, my pieces are all really coming out really nicely. So he decides to Digivolve in the back. So I'm guessing some extra draw to find his pieces. And he's unsure whether or not to swing. He says goes to the wall ground on X, which is wonderful, and puts an X antibody. So he's ready to go. He just needs Galamon and he'll be right on it. Perfect. Oh, we got a subscription, which is always good. So he swings, I believe it's two checks. Oh, and he goes straight into a Death X, which is very unfortunate, but I'm glad that I played it for this round. Death X first check is not fun. So I'm racing in the back a little bit. I'm going to try with the Talmon, go into Squeamon, restand because he restanded. It doesn't really get it, even though we got into a Crimson, which I'm happy because I know he plays one Crimson in his deck. We versed each other before. I get to play out a TK and a Kairi because of Rice Greymon's effect because I want to get as many teamers as I can on field so he can do two checks because this is more of an aggressive mode. So instead he's trying to figure out he's got Megalo Blaster so he can get rid of a possibility of getting Sakuyama on wonderful play. Wonderful play. So I was just explaining to him that he gets Neg 2k or Neg 3k sorry for security when I have TK and Kairi and then uh, we go in for the checks. I'm sorry, it's a little cut off, but I do have enough teamers. We go in, we go into maid mode, we get to recover with our plug-in. We swing with main mode. Uh, we're swinging with quite a few checks because of tamers. We did evolve for free, and I think there was a little bit of a misplay as well with terms of the tamers and how many checks I can go. But he goes in, he's going with Gilmon Riku Rush because he's a bit in of a tight situation and can't really find his pieces. He did evolves, it goes straight into an option card, which I put up top and we scoop it up there. So I won that round uh, in terms of the whole tournament. The major prize was that anybody who did win the whole section gets to upload the video and put it on YouTube, on their YouTube channel, and I'm successful in terms of Sakuyamon. Hope you guys do enjoy more of these videos. Uh, let us know what you think. Please like and subscribe to both of our channels, Reggie underscore VT and Reggie Bear underscore. And I hope I can provide more content for you guys soon and winning more matches. Have a wonderful day, Cubs. I'll see you later.